the appearance of the, the rich persons or rich, rich people. Masama pa maging mayaman? Hindi. Magandang sagot yan. <laughs> the question is whether uh, the, the question is not uh, masama pa o hindi pero the question is how did you accumulate the riches and how did you use it? Hindi masama yumaman at hindi masama mangarap yumaman Remember this that if you are you feel guilty when you are discussing million million will never arrive to your door Kung halimbawa ang pag-usapan ay pera tapos na kung natin usapan niya kasi wala ko eh naiilang ako walang million na darating sa bintuan mo Kung pag-uusapan mo kahirapan enjoy na enjoy ka of course kahirapan dumarating sa But the question is hindi ang pagkakaroon ng pera o hindi ang pagiging mayaman but course how do we use our resources? How do we use our money? Is it for our own benefit or for the benefit of other people? Sabi ng Bible is, in, the, in, in Timothy, the Bible tells us, the love of money is the root of all evil. The problem is not with money, right? But with the love of money. If you began to love money, more than you love the people, there's a problem with it. Some people are using people and love money. But we will do the other way. What is the other way? Love the people and use your money. Tama po ba? People are using people or rich people, some of the rich people are using people for them to get money, to get money and to love, you know, loving this money. But why do the reverse? We have to love the people and use this money in showing how we love the people. Masama ba kung halimbawa Sir, ninyang bigyan ng Panginoon ng isang milyon dahil kailangan siyang mag-finance ng pagpalagay natin uh, home for the agent? Masama ba? No, it's not. God will use you in different forms. If God cannot use you in, in your mind, if you are not, you don't have any ability in singing, but if you have money, God can use you. Did you get my point? Yes. Kaya sinabi niya, you rich people, he said, it's time for you to cry and wail and, you know, and shout during the day of judgment. Because you take riches from the poor. Anong ibig niya sabihin? Ito po, the principle, the law is different. It's not about getting. It's about giving. <laughs> getting is opposite to the law that is given to us. When you, when you give, you will receive. The principle is receiving, not getting. Did you get the principle? When you give, you will receive. Pero ano ginagawa ng tao ngayon? They are trying to get. Which is wrong against the law. Pag sakay mo na taxi, 3GD. They are getting. Yes. Right? Yes. They are getting. They are not receiving. But if you give, you will receive. Did you get my point? Okay. If you want to be blessed, just simply give and you will receive. Say for example, if you are working, give the best that you can. And you will receive in return for the compensation. As compensation, right? So the principle is not about getting, but receiving. Say for example, if I'm giving for the people, for the poor, and I receive millions because the Lord entrusts me of that, is it wrong? No. No, hindi. Kung meron akong isang libong taong pinapakain, isang libong pa sa sahuran, buong buwan, do you think 1,000 pesos a month income enough para sa akin? Hindi. Hindi. Paano ko sasahuran yung 1,000 people ko? Piso-piso. Piso-piso? Meron pa taong tatanggap ang piso-piso sa sahur mo? No. I just want you I, I want to clarify this principle I am not a prosperity preacher but I am not also a poverty preacher Anong ibig mo sabihin pastor? I don't want to teach which is against to my conviction 
Kasi kung mahirap ka, ibig pa sabihin, mas malapit ka sa Lord eh, kasi mahirap ka. Hindi. Okay. Eh, mayaman ka, malayo ka sa Lord. Ganun okay. din ba agad? Okay. Diritsahan agad? Hindi. Hindi po ganun ang explanation natin po matatanggap. But what we receive is so simple. The principle that teaches us, kung mayaman ka, use your resources for other people. Huwag mandaya. Accumulate, accumulating of wealth should be done in this way. Yung timbangan natin ay hindi malaya. Kung halimbawa, ang negosyo mo ay 5-6, huwag kang magpa-5-6 kasi yun yung nasa normal na level. Tama ba? Kasi kung nangungutang laban lang sa banko, sabihin mo, hindi ako nagpa-5-6 pero nagma-microfinance ako. Diba sounds great? <laughs> hindi ako nagpapautang ng 20% ang tubo, 10% lang. Oh. Masama ba yun? Masama Bakit? kasi may interest pa. <laughs> kasi may interest pa. Uh, If you are doing the same thing, you know, kung, kung nangungutang ka sa banko, at you consider bank as a business, then why not allow this one? Just open your mind. Tingnan nyo ang possibilities. Kung agad sa foundation nyo, huwag nyo gawin. Klaro ba? Kung ang negosyo nyo ay agad sa foundation nyo, huwag nyo gawin. At kung sa palagay nyo ang pag, pagpapautan na ito, tanong lang, tanong lang. Kung ako ang nasa kanyang kalagayan at ako'y mangutakan, ganun ang interest, makakaya ko yan o kaya bayaran? Kung sa palagay mo, hindi niya kaya yun. Huwag ka na magpautan sa kanya. Bigyan mo na lang. Pahingi mo. Bigyan mo na lang. Nangutang sa'yo ng 5,000. O, ano ba? So, bigyan lang kita ng mga dalawa ka na kaya kumayan. Yes. O, oh, di ba? Di ba? Pasama ng loob. Wala problema. You will also receive what you have given. Right? Pero kung gawin sa lahat, baka maubos yung buhunan mo. What I am trying to say, so simple. Pag patungkol sa pera, huwag kang yumukong gano'n na sabi mo, kahit ang pag-usapan to. Huwag. Kasi matagal dumating yan sa'yo. Kasi minsan ikaw mismo takot pagpag-usapan ng bagay na yan. Ibig sabihin, just speak flow of that. Kung halimbawa, you have a problem with finances, admit, I have a problem with finances and I want to start all over again. Right? Kung mahirap ka naman, kung sabi, mahirap na talaga ako. No! I'm bound to riches. Amen! You have... Mayaman! <laughs> Can we just simply say to ourselves, Mayaman ako. Mayaman! I am rich. Can we say in English, I am rich. I am rich! You are more rich. The potential of being rich is in you. The potential of being rich is in you. But the problem is, the law of you. Yes. The Lord didn't trust us with these riches. Bakit hindi tayo napakatiwalaan? Meron ba mga mayayaman pastor na kristyano? Yes. Marami. And I came face to face with them and they served me as a pastor different way than the poor ones. How did you know that pastor? Nakita ko yung respect to nila how they respect their pastor. When I came to their home, pastor, pasensya ka na pastor, dito kayo, tuloy dito, dito, dito pastor, ito yung room mo ha. Pastor, pasensya na pastor. Pastor, pastor, pastor kasi. Hindi na gusto. Hindi na makamista, no? Pagdating ni pastor, talagang nangangapa eh. Hindi naman gaano mayaman. Dalawang katulong na naman binigay sa amin. Okay ba yun? May nagalaba ako? Ano ba yun? May nagaludo. Social. Social. These are rich people. And I also encounter these rich people. Hindi may ganun mayaman. Limang Phoenix Station na naman ang pumamayari. Gasolite Station. Lima lang naman. Tapos meron isang restaurant. May isang coffee shop. Hindi ka naman. Pero pagdating namin doon, pagdating sa mga crusade, dito ka naman sa mga anak. Dito, wag pala biya, alam biya. Dito. Sila ang magsiserve, sila ang maghuhugas. Wow. Mongas. Yes, that's true. I've seen also people who are professionals enough. When I came to Pampanga, in that place, mga kapatid, during our conference, 
Nag-absent si principal at si doktor ng 3 days. Alam niyo bakit? Dahil nandun sa aming mga kapatid magsiserve daw para sa pagkain ng ito. At yung isang resort, may ari ng resort, sinabi, ipaklose ang resort for 3 days kasi meron tayong isang kong pastor na darating. Kailangan sila lang ang tao sa loob. Walang pwedeng mag-abala. Nag-holiday for 3 days sila. And after 3 days, pinuksan ulit. At yun, pinapasok yung mga bisita, yung mga tao. Duble pa yung income na kinabog nila. May isa din ako pinuntahan. Hindi naman gano'ng mayaman. Ito story lang naman yung building na kanyang yung mga sur yung mga supla surplus uh, yung mga damit mga ganun garments so, so, mga garments to story lang naman eh ako sinabi mamili na kayo pastor ang iniisip-isip ko wala akong pera ng bayad kaya wala yung bibili ko <laughs> nung pagdating sa cashier sinabi pastor bakit wala na pastor hindi wala pa yun yan libre yan lahat kung kinuha mo na libre yan ha alam ko lang yun ay hakilan na sa akin <laughs> Wala na, wala. Akan ang magawa. Nakuha ko, t-shirt na lang sa pantalon. Pag, pag uwi namin, kinamayan ako ng isang libo nakalagay sa pulang envelope. Tapos pinasara yung tindahan pag after noon. Bakit? Si Pastor Oji, mga ngaral, lahat ng mga employee, pake sa taas, dahil meron na yung sipa. Church, what I am trying to say, hindi masamang limaman. Hindi masaya sa masamang umangat ka sa buhay. Because that's a plan of God for you. Amen. Pero, kung yun naman ang dahilan upang babagsak dahil sa attitude natin, hindi ibibigay yan ng Lord sa atin. Amen? Amen. Amen. Kung ang maging cause ng pagyaman natin ay siya naman maging downfall Amen. ng ating pamilya o ng ating buhay, hindi ibibigay yan ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Therefore, what matters most is our attitude. We have to check our character. The Lord is able, kaya niya ibigay ito lahat ng nandito ngayon. There's nothing impossible with God. Kaya niya ibigay yan. Kahit ngayon din. Kahit tayong lahat ito, bigyan ng tingi-isang limusin. Pero ang problema, saan natin ipaparo ng tingi-isang? Tama ba? Dalawang parking lot na meron tayo dyan. Church, what I am trying to say, riches or money is not the root of all evil. But the love of money is the root of all evil. Yun yung key word natin, mga patid. Kaya kung yumaman man tayo, wag kung yumaman. Sa the time na yayaman na tayo, kasi kung kung, warang imposible yun eh. May kung pa eh. The time na yayaman na tayo, wag nang kalimutan si Lord, maglingkod pa rin sa Panginoon. Patuloy ang ating paan na kaya pang palit sa lupa. I'll show your respect to everyone you meet na walang pagbabago kung sino man sila. Maraming mayaman man sila, mahirap man, hindi magbabago ang ating treatment sa kanila. The same, kung ano tayo, ganun din ang ating ipapakita pag yayaman na tayo. Ibig po ba? That is a prophecy. <coughs> Sinong gusto dito ang yayaman na? That is a prophecy. I am prophesying. You will no longer be a housemaid. Hindi ka na mag mag-housemaid. Ikaw na mag-hire ng housemaid. Saan mo mabasa yung pastor? Proverbs chapter 30. Basahin nyo yan. A virtuous woman. Maaga siya nagigising kaysa kanya mga katulog. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin siya tamad. Kahit meron na siyang katulog. Yes, pastor. Proverbs chapter 30, the whole chapter. <laughs> the virtuous woman. Starting from verse 10. Pero kung hindi ka nagigising ng tamang oras, huwag ka lang umasang yayaman ka pa. Praise the Lord. That is the appearance of the rich. God never says that it is a sin to be wealthy. Nor He doesn't say also that the possession of mass money does make one an evil evil one or if you lack money you are virtuous but the question is 
how the money was acquired and how it is being used. That is the question. How did you acquire money and how have you used your resources? Marami mga Kristiyano na sumasakit ang ulo, kakabalansi, hindi pa dumating ang sukita. Tama po ba? You know why? Sa atin pa rin ang problema. Hindi sa amo natin. Sa atin pa rin. If we start our day believing that God will supply all our needs, at alam natin kung paano gamitin ito ng tama, budget, savings, every aspect of this. I believe God will reward us according mga kapatid sa ating paggamit sa pera ipinig kayo sa ating, pinagkalaw sa ating pera. This is about stewardship. If you are not a good steward, never expect that you will receive a bounty of blessing. Never expect. But if you are a good steward, then expect for God's blessing to your yes. life. Bago ako magdatapos, tanong ko na, yung kinting kinahin mo nung hindi dumating yung pera kasi kunting gastos mo, hindi mo isinulat. Tama ba? Nawawala na yun. Bawat kinting na kinakain mo, hindi mo isinulat. Ibig sabihin, out of your budget na yun, kinamit mo. So, hindi tayo naging magandang steward. But if we are using every amount and write everything down, you will acquire, you will have this blessing. Kasi nakikita ng Diyos ang pagiging papagkatiwala na papagkatiwalaan. Praise the Lord! Pagkitan tayo sa tawag ko ngayon. Napakinan kayo sa akin na tumpak ba? Praise the Lord. I hope that this help, mga kapatid. Sana nakatulong yung tulong natin sa hapong ito. I hope nakatulong siya. Praise the Lord. Shall we all stand together and let's give thanks to the Lord for His good goodness, for His mercy. Praise the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for your goodness and mercy. Help us, Father, to understand about man. Maaring sa ngayon, we are not yet rich. Panginoon, hindi pa kami yumaman. Umaaring hindi pa kami kanong marami ang pera tulad ng iba. Umaaring hindi pa kami naging financially independent. But Lord, help us, O Lord, to have that full understanding of the financial independence. That we may become an instrument, O Lord, of your word. That we become instrument, O God, of your love. That the moment, O God, we say we love you, we have something to give to those people whom we love. So that we can express more, O God, of this love, O God, that we have, if we have something to give. We understand, O God, that this world is not about getting, O God, it's about receiving. Therefore, we have to give, O God, not only money, but also our time, our effort, our heart. And we will receive, O God, in bounty, O God. You promise us life, not just life, but an abundant life. And we thank you in advance, O God, for the blessing that we are about to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us and we will now take your seats. Praise the Lord. Okay. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I can do what it says I can do. Today, today, I will be taught by the Word of God. I will be taught by the Word of God. I boldly confess. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. My heart is receptive. I am about to receive. I am about to receive. The incorruptible. The incorruptible. The indestructible. Ever living. Ever living. Seed of the word of God. Seed of the word of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may now take your seats. Later, ko nila sabihin yung announcement ko mga kapatid. My topic for today is about asking in faith. This week we are discussing about touching God in prayer, right? Now, how can we touch God in prayer if we ask in faith? May mga pagkakatao mga kapatid na tayo na nanalangin but we are not asking in faith at all. We thought that when we pray, we have faith. But actually, observe how we pray and we can see that there is no faith in it. Paano ba tayo nalangin? Lord, 
Uh, alam mo Lord yung parang nailangan ko. Di ba? Uh, bigyan mo naman ako Lord ng kwan Lord kahit parang Lord. Di ba? Mga ganun tayo mag-declare, di ba? Uh, sana Lord bukas darating na. Bakit ka sa sana bukas? Where is faith in your prayer? Prayer is simply saying, Lord, I believe you will give this to me. Maaaring hindi ko pa siya nakita even though I didn't see them in my eyes but I believe that you answered already my prayer. The moment I will say Amen today, you already answered my prayer. That is a faith or asking in faith. You know, the Word of God tells us the Word of God tells us in the book of James chapter 5 verse 17 Ang sabi nun, And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven did you know that the word prayer of faith only appear one time in the Bible the phrase I mean this word prayer of faith it only appears one time and it's written in the book of James and next week, you will be studying that one. James chapter 5. Asking in faith. Now, what does it mean for me, Pastor? Prayer of faith has power if we will only practice this one. Did you know that the prayer of faith will cause the sick to be healed? Mapapagaling ang may sakit sa mga pananalangin na may pananampalataya. Maaaring nanalangin ka, hindi ko maling. Baka ang pananalangin natin, walang pananampalataya. Ang kailangan ng pananalangin ay pananalangin na may pananampalataya. A prayer of faith. We often heard the praises that says, you have to believe this, you have to believe that. You have to believe on this and believe on that. We are taught what to believe. But have we heard the teaching on how to believe. Tinuruan tayo what to believe or on. We are, we are taught to believe on this word. We are taught to believe on this man. Believe on this and that. But we, we haven't been taught about how to believe. Maaring man din sabihin, oh, madaling maniwala. Pero paano ba maniwala? But let's discuss first the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. The definition of the word faith in the Bible. Faith is the substance of things of form. The evidence of things not seen. Look at this. It's a faith that has a substance. It's not just a mere dream of mine that it will never occur. It has a substance. It will happen to the man who believed. Another thing, he said, the evidence of things not seen. It might be we never see the occurrence of it, but we have seen the evidences of it. Say for example, naniniwala pa kayong may hangin? Do you believe that there's an air? Can you see the air? No. But you still believe? Yes. How will you know that there's an air? Feel. You feel it? Yes. You can see that process was, you know, uh -huh. swaying, yeah. swaying, uh, moving. swaying, or moving. We observe that one. And we say, ah, there's an evidence that there is an air. Uh -huh. With regards to your prayer, Lord, I believe. You haven't said anything, right? Uh -huh. But still believe. Yes. You might never see the result, but still believe in God. You may never feel that you are already healed, but still believe in the Lord. You may never see the result of your prayer, but still believe. Amen. What is your prayer today? You might be praying for uh, healing. Yes. Yes. Even if you don't feel that you are healed, still declare, thank you Lord, you healed me. Yes. Because the moment we declare that we are healed, that's also the time that we receive the healing that we are praying for. The Lord already moving in a way that we never saw. Maaring sa patingin natin, nakita ko yung kwali. Nakita ko yung 
Yung isang picture ba, na dalawa ng rabbit ng tanim ng carrots, yung isa malagun malago yung dahon eh. Talaga nagmamayabang pa yung isa, nakaganun eh. Yung isa naman namang problema kasi ang liit-liit ng dahon ng kanya. Pero sa ilalim, yung malaki yung dahon, ganito lang kalit yung bunga. Yung isa naman, sobrang laki yung bunga. Pero namang problema siya kasi sobrang big. That is sometimes happening to our prayer. Sometimes we always see a small effect in our life, yet we never see what is too good. Ano nangyayari sa ilalim? We never see what is happening with it. We only want to see the outward. Remember that the outward, outward things are only temporal, but the things that we never see are eternal. You might be saying, oh, he is blessed. Why? Because he has a lot of money. No, it's just an outward expression. You never see what is inside of that man or that woman. But the greater things are the things that are not yet seen. Maari nakikita ko siya, sobrang yaman niya, magkala mo mo pa, baka puno yan ng utang. Tama ba? O maari nga isa nakikita mo, talagang ragid na ragid pag maglakad, pero hindi mo alam, milyonary yan pula. Di ba? Hindi ka naman eh. Hindi naman ikaw eh. Ako yun eh, ako. Ako yun. Church of the living God, it's about declaration of faith. Sometimes we don't understand about faith at all. We are saying, I believe in God, I have faith on this, I have faith on that. But we never see the results. And still, we are barred. Para mag nakabakol pa rin sa atin. Yung guys, pagdating ng panahon, Padating ng panahon Eh bakit hindi na napating yung panahon na yun? Church, start to have faith on the things that you never see Faith is the substance of things of four We are hoping for something Ayaw ko na mga pastor gusto ko maging praktikal Yung nakikita ko lang yung paniwalaan ko O sige maging praktikal ka na Now, kung gusto mong maging practical, kailangan ka mabibit ng oxygen. Kasi nakikita ko yun. Practical yun, di ba? Oh, Magpahalin. Magpabayad yun. Hindi ko gusto mong maging practical. But you know, if you really want to experience the abundant life in Christ Jesus, there's a bounty of blessing if you will only start to make it. Bakit mapakayama kong masalita? Parang medyo naroyo ako, di ba? that time that I will speak about it, <laughs> parang hindi na rin ako nahihina. Dati, parang na, ang feel ko, nayayabangan ako sa sarili ko. Katagalan, patuloy ko na siya sinasabi, pero sabi ko, kamahala silang mayabangan sila sa akin. Total, totoo naman mayabang ako eh. <laughs> At least you're me. Kung parang me. Church of the living God. We have to start to believe. When I mention, mga kapatid, the first time that I arrived here, I said, we need to baptize 2,500 souls. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds different. You know, sino pa pastor na magsasabing, the first time na tumayon siya nagsasabing, we have to baptize 2,500 souls. At ang nakikita mong membro ay sampu lang. Ang nakita ko nung panahon na, Sister Winnie, mga, yung iba dito, hindi ko pa nakikita. Sister Lucy na pa yung mga panahon na, ilan na dito pa lang yung nakaupo! Now, the Lord has really blessed us. We are seeing 2,500. Nakikita ko, Pastor. Maaari sabihin ko, nakikita ko, pero physically, hindi ko nakikita sa aking mga mata. But I believe that the Lord is able. He can do exceedingly upon when my pastor simply declares next year sabi ng pastor ko lili ba tayo ng building sabi ng pastor ko wala tayo yung pira pastor magpray tayo every morning 5 o'clock in the morning kinikising kami we are praying Lord give us one million give us one million hindi ba hindi namin but the Lord said no I will not give you one million I will give you 20 million wow at nakalipat kami ng building, mga kapatid. Five million. Oo, sariling building. Binili talaga. Sariling school. For six months or five months? 
mula nung time na declare kami that we have it. Yes. And my pastor simply says, shall we dance as if we are in the new building? Yes. Shall we worship as if we are in the new building? You do me ano 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 Okay, you will start your own business in the Philippines. Natatakot mag mabawasan ng membro, Pastor. Minsan ako nasaktan na wala ng membro. <laughs> Hindi na ako mga masasaktan ulit kung alis man kayo. Basta alam ko na nandun kayo sa magandang katayuan. Pero so, I am declaring in the by faith na hindi tayo mananatiling katulong sa bansikang bansa. We are the children of the living God. And we have to receive the bounty for us. We have to begin to Faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Nakikita mo na ba yan? Hindi mo ba yan na nakikita? But God still moving on the different way. Have faith in God. Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall have, or ye will receive. Ano ang sinabi ng Bible? Believe only whatever it is. Pastor, hindi bigay kaya yun ang Panginoon sa akin. Imposible naman, Pastor. Imposible natin. Yung sweldo ko, Pastor, may hundred lang. Paano ako magkakaroon ng negosyo? Yun kasi ang pinapaniwalaan mo. Kung ano ang nakikita mo. Huwag kang maniwala sa mga nakikita mo. Paniwalaan mo ang mga ako ng Diyos na higit pa sa nakikita mo. Naniniwala tayo. O, hanggang dito lang, Pastor, ang kaya ko kasi yun. Ito lang kasi yung kaya kong ipunin. Hindi po mga kapatid, higit pa ang mapapala ng Diyos sa kaya mong ipunin. Pag ang Diyos mapapapala, siksik, liglig, at ang mga abang na mapapala ang ipunin sa Diyos para sa akin. At all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer. Nananalangin na tayo? Amen. What is that thing? Believe it. Ye shall receive. Yes. Receive. Do you believe? Yes. Can we say, I believe? I believe. I believe. If you believe in it, it will happen to your life. It will happen. It will be that day. But tomorrow, or the day to come. That is believe. Tomorrow, may never, well, ano yung sinabi nila? Tomorrow may not arrive. Tomorrow may not come. But today, I have to believe. Today is my day. I appreciate na po yung nila in his book. Meron siyang libro na nagsasabing Think and Grow Rich. Sinabi niya, Faith is a state of mind which may be induced by auto-suggestion. What is auto-suggestion? It is just suggested to us automatically without even thinking. Yun ba? Halimbawa, nagtututbras, nag-iisip pa bang magtututbras na? Paano ba yung itutbras? Paano ba yung lagay tutup? Is it not? Automatic na po, tama po ba? Yes. May tinatawag tayo autopilot, di po ba? Uh -huh. Na hindi po na kailangan pang uh, i-imanay opera dyan. Basta na siyang pupunta doon. Yun yung tinawag autopilot. Autosuggestion is simply saying as nagsasuggest na siya sa'yo na hindi mo iniisip. That is fine. You just simply, oh, thank you Lord, I have it. I feel it all Lord. Ang lamig ng swimming pool sa bago kong bahay. Wow. Diba? That is auto suggestion. You just simply feel it. Wow, ang lambot na pupuha sa bago kong sasakya. Oh, kahit nakaupo ka sa kawayan. Describe that it is not about the principle through faith may be developed where it does not already exist. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in God. 
It's not only believing on ourselves, but believing on God. Sometimes we believe in God, but we don't believe that we can do something. We are over, over dependent. Hindi mo kasalanan mga kapatid naman na langit. But sometimes, naging over dependent. Alam ko, bubuhos sa Panginoon pagpapala, matulog muna ako. <laughs> it will never happen. You're expecting for blessing and you're just sleeping. It will never occur. You know what is it? What is the word of God? Before we begin, you should be reminded again that faith is the ex eternal elixir. You know what is elixir? Elixir means an answer or a cure to every possible disease. Sabi niya, faith is an elixir. Possibly by the pastor, I will tell you. I will read you script. Uh, I will read you scripture. This scripture ito ha. Quanto phrases? Sinabi niya. Faith. Panay faith ito. Faith is the starting point of all accumulation of riches. Faith. Accumulation of riches. Faith ang umpisa. Yes. And faith also is the means for every individual to receive his healing. Another. Faith is the basis of all miracles and all mystery which cannot be analyzed by the rules of science. Yes. Naalala niyo yung babae? Sinabi niya, what do, do I want you to do? Sabi ng, I want to be healed. By your faith, you are healed. Amen. It's about faith. Yes. Can you explain it? Can science explain that one? No. no. It cannot be explained by science. Every miracle. But if one simple enough, God will do something by our name. what we can do, and God will perform the things that we cannot do. Amen. Amen. What we can do? Faith. Faith. Yun, alam, ay, yun nga alam ang ating magagawa, hindi pa natin gagawin. Faith is only known antidote for failure. Are you failing? Have faith. Kung dumarating man ang failure sa buhay natin, just simply have faith. Faith is the element that chemical which we mix with prayer. Tinan nyo ha? Author ito. It's a chemical. We mix with prayer. Keeps one direct communication with the infinite intelligence which is God. Amen. That is faith. It moves the mountain. If you have faith as small as the mustard seed, it can move the mountain. I am just amazed because someone gave me you know, his cup of serpent as uh, what is that? Mustard seed? It's so small. And I'm thinking, this is the only requirement. This is amount of faith, the only required for moving about it. It makes a very cool of the faith. No, 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 as a sakyanila ay minsan, naka nga to na o siguro munti ka nang mag-collapse. Sinabi na, Jesus, kumisi ka kung hindi mamamatay tayo. But what Jesus did? Sinabi niya, O oh, you of little faith. <laughs> Pananampalataya pa rin talaga ang susi. Kung gusto mo, kung meron mo pangyayari sa buhay mo ngayon, na para bang binagyo ka, na para bang namang problema ka na, have faith! Because the Lord says, O oh, of you little faith. God is able. He can do something great that we can do. Faith removes every possible limitations. I want to make it clear. Faith removes every possible limitations. What is your limitations? Ang ayaw mo na siguro gawin, hanggang dito lang. Pero pag may pananampalataya ka, ito ang gagawin ng ating Panginoon. O di kaya ito pa, isang di pa pa siguro, o isang kilometro pa, ang kaya gawin ng Diyos para sa buhay mo, if we will just serve me. But how should I believe, Pastor? You are mentioning a lot of times about faith. Simple lang po ang faith. It is a habit. Start with faith from this. Lord, Kung bibigyan mo ako sobra ng limang GD sa sweldo ko, ibibigay ko yung promise ko na five. Start with that. Regularly. O di kaya, pagdating sa bagay-bagay, pagdating sa mga sa mga, 
Lord, naniniwala ako ngayon na hindi ako aabot ng isang minuto may taxi na napapara sa harap ko. Just thank you, Lord. Just develop that prosperity. And just simply say, thank you, Lord. How faith? In every aspect! Bakit wala tayo? Kasi nag-aatay pa tayo ng malalaking pangyayari bago tayo naniniwala. Naniniwala ako, Lord, na bubuhos ng isang minuto sa harap ko. Pag-aantay ka ng isang minuto na bubuhos, kailan yung mangyayari? Your faith cannot be developed. Start with the small details in our life. If you want to develop this faith. If you want to work, you just believe. Lord, I believe that every person I meet today will help, will show a smile to me. That's a simple thing. Then how can you do it? Do it daily. In a regular basis. And simply believe that the Lord will do something great in your life. It's not really easy to have really a big faith. When I started my business, ang kuya ko talaga hindi kumpinsido sa sa plano. Sabi ko, kuya, I want to run an establishment. Sabi ko sa kuya ko. In the center of the city. You know, sabi ko, in the corner of the street. Sabi ko, how can you find that place? You cannot do it. What is your money? How much do you have? That's a question, right? How much do you have? You mean sa lang tanong sa atin? If we have, we are planning for something, then how much do you have? Can you start? No, it, it will not happen. You know, alam mo, gusto ko magtayo sa lang negosyo na ganito sa Pilipinas. Bakit? May buhunan ka na? <laughs> Hindi ka ba? Nagpaplano ka ba mahalang? Eh, wala na, pinara na. <laughs> wala na ba yan? Ay, oo nga, no? Hindi nga mangyayari. <laughs> Disappoint you na agad. This is always, always happens to us. Sometimes we are asking, Ah, I cannot provide that one. But why ask a question? Bakit ka magtatanong? If I, can I provide this? Huwag ka magtanong, can I provide this? Ask the question, how can I provide for this? If you are planning for something, gusto ko magkaroon ng bahay malapit sa beach. Huwag ka magtanong, kaya ko kayo magkaroon ng ganoon? If you want to develop faith, say it more. How can I have that? How can I finance that one? They start to think, to think, think, and start the heart of appreciating the things. It never occurs to me. Ang sarap na matanda ng feeling na mayroon yung beach house. Yung feelings pa lang, feelings na naman eh. Kung sa feelings pa lang hindi ka na kumisid, huwag ka na kumasa. Na mangyari yas sa buhay mo. Sa pili pa nga, alam, failure ka na eh. How faith in God. Sinabi naman, all things whatsoever, may ask me pa yun. Pag all things, kasama ba doon ang helicopter? Yes. All things eh, all. Yes. Okay. Limos eh. Yes. Mansion. Aha. Yes. One million. Aha. Yes. All things. Sinabi, all things eh. Pero bakit hindi nangyayari? Wala kang faith. Wala kang faith! Bakit? We are programmed when we were young. Na ito lang ang kaya natin. Mag-araw ka na mabuti para pag mag-ibong maghanap ka ng maganda. Trabaho. So ano ba makukuha mo pag may trabaho ka? Sweldo. Sweldo lang. Pabayad sa? Uha. O ibig sabihin, lumaki tayo na ganun ang figure ng mind natin. We never get taught naman yung akika, tumawa ka na ng ng negosyo para nang ikaw ka at meron para ng tao ka pwede matulungan para may mga tao magkaroon ng trabaho para sa pamamagitan mo through you you will be employed we are grow we, we grow by that concept a poverty concept a poverty concept but I want to challenge you as the children of the Lord to not live in the poverty concept why? I will tell you later. I will tell you later. Next verse. There is one verse in the Bible that I really want to tell you. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been what? What fun? You have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just and you did not resist. And you did not resist. Resist you. Next. What? Mali? One six, one five six. I'm sorry, one five six. If any of you 
lack wisdom. Let him ask of God that give it to all men reveal liberally. At ang kasunod nun, sinabi niya, I'm sorry, no, mabalik pala yung binigit ko. Basta 1, 5, 6. Uh, Apply it na, James. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toast. What? Five, no, no. Chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nagabalik tayo yung mga kapatid. Anyway. Anong sinabi ng Bible? Ang sinabi niya, kung wala kayong wisdom, ask from God. Now, in dealing with life, sometimes we don't have wisdom. Therefore, we have to ask God. Pero ang kalungtong nito, hindi lang basta asking. Ang sinabi ng Bible, ask in prayer. And when we ask in prayer, yeah, let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. When you ask in prayer, do not waver. What does it, what does it mean, waver? Doubt. Yes, never doubt. Ah, uh, Lord, bigyan mo ako ng wisdom, Lord, to deal with this problem. Tapos sabi nyo, ay, parang hindi yata tarating ngayon niya. <laughs> Wala yata. Walang ibig doon. For he that is wavering is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and the coast. Alam nyo ba yung, yung, yung wind of the sea, mga kapatid? Ganun lang. Pabalik-balik lang. Sumasama-sama sa anon. You don't have really a firm foundation. If you don't have a firm foundation, how can you establish your life? Have you seen anyone who is a double-minded man who is living in riches? No. Wala kang makikita ang tao na mayaman na palagi na dalawa ang isip. Pag-umbis na tayo, ah, wag ka lang, baka maluki. Iba ka lang, pag-umbis na maluki na. Tama ko ba? Ah, mag-guan tayo. Ah, magpagpatay tayo. Ay, baka mag-yuhin. Sayang naman. Church, it's about faith. Asking in faith. I hope na iparating ko ito. The prayer of faith is prayer that changes the things. It not, it's not just the people. Because changing people includes self-will. But prayer about something or asking the Lord in prayer, it's not changing other person. Lord, Lord, baguhin mo naman Sister Erma, hindi ko pwede kami niya. Because it includes self-will. Lord, baguhin mo naman Sister Vicky, Panginoon, yung attitude niya. I could never do that. Because it includes self-will. Siya pa rin ang mag-inom doon. But circumstances will do. How it is? Sister Erma, Lord, you know my situation today. Lord, maaari hindi mo man baguhin yung ugali ng amo ko. Pero maguhin mo yung sitwasyon ko ngayon. No? Na pag dating ko sa bahay nila, Lord, everything will flow through, Panginoon, will follow. Na ang ganda ng takbo, Panginoon, na bigyan niya ako ng swindo, na tama naman, hindi naman kukulangin. Situation. You're gonna change the heart of your boss. Right? You're gonna just simply pray, Lord, baguhin mo naman yung amo ko. Because it involves self-will ng amo mo. What you can do, Lord, change me. Or either, Lord, change the situation that I have. Ngayon, paano, ano ba nangyayari pag sinabi mong change the situation that I have? What will, what will probably happen is this. The moment you pray for things to happen, and if you pray with faith in God, you can see extraordinary things, mga kapatid, na hindi mo nakikita mo. What do you mean, Pastor? The things that are eternal. Believe on the things that God can do when you pray the prayer of faith. You can have healing for your body, wisdom for your mind, and even a good job if we will pray in faith. Before you get the wrong idea, the prayer of faith is not a magic wand that you will say, Abracadabra! <laughs> it's not a magic wand that you bring with you and say, this is my prayer, and everything changes. 
Or is that also a genie in the bottle? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> but the power of faith is a tool that we can use to implement God's will in our lives. Through the prayer of faith, we can help the things God desires for us if we will pray in faith. Is it the desire of God to live an abundant life? Desire ba ng Panginoon niya sa atin? Yes. Desire ba ng Panginoon that you will be prosperous wheresoever thou goest? Binanggit niya yun. Is it also the, the desire of the Lord that uh, no weapon forms against you will prosper? Yes. Is it also the promise or is it also the desire of the Lord that blessings will follow you and will overtake you? Nakasaad yun sa kanyang salita. Tama po ba? If it is written, it is the desire of the Lord. That is the will of God for your life. Therefore say, Lord, I am praying for your queen. Kalo ba naman itong Panginoon na magsasuffer ako sa karamdaman eh? Hindi yan ang promise na pa yun sa iyo. The promise of God for your life is blessings and bountiful blessings. There might be an occurrence of problems. But remember, the valley is not our destination. Binagit kanina ni Pastor Sherry that we also pass through valley, the shadow of valley, the shadow of death. Pero sinabi niya ba that that is our destination? No. no. We will only pass through the valley. It is not our destination. We will only pass through because our destination is in the presence of God, into the body of blessing. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Yeah. Goodness and mercy shall follow us. Blessings of God. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not what? You don't need anything when we are in Christ Jesus. We might be passing through the valley. Pero sabi mo, valley, hindi ito ang destination ko. Dadaan lang ako ito. Problema, hindi ikaw ang katapusan ng buhay ko. Hindi ako mamamatay sa problema. Mamamatay ako. Dala ang kapigaan. Dala ang tagumpay. Mamamatay ako. Dala ang pagpapala ng Diyos. The Lord will bring me home. And my children is all okay. And I don't have to worry. And my children are all safe. Maari meron kang valley ngayon sa buhay mo. You are passing the valley. Mga anak mo, hindi pa siguro nagbili mo. Maari, you are passing the valley that you're changing. You know, your family is no longer, it's not serving the Lord. You might be passing in the valley wherein you have a lot of debts. Maybe you are passing in a valley that you have a lot of troubles in your life. But I will tell you, you will not stay on the valley. You will only pass through that valley. So what will happen afterwards? You will receive the multiple blessing the Lord has promised for you. Just simply stay on faith. Can we say, I have faith in God? I have faith in God. Praise the Lord, I have faith in God. I have faith in God. John chapter 16 verse 24. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Sinabi niya, you didn't receive anything because you never asked from me. But what the Lord says, ask, and you will receive. Why? Because if we will receive, our joy will be complete. Marami tayo mga nalangin, tama po ba? And sometimes, it become a hindrance for us to show the joy that we have. Minsan, iniisip natin, nangyayari pa kaya yan sa buhay ko? Malalampasay ko pa kaya itong problema ito? Minsan, hanggang doon lang, we don't understand that God has a purpose and a plan for us. And His desire is for us to have an abundant life so that our joy will be full. What is that life? You ask nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive that your joy will be full. Gusto nyo bang mapuno kayo ng kaligayahan? Then ask, and you will receive. 
Reklamo tayo na reklamo sa buhay, hindi naman tayo humihingi. Lord, ano ba ito nangyayari? Humingi ka. Yun ang kulang, ask in faith. John chapter 14, verse 12. Starting verse 12 hanggang 14. What does the Bible tells us? He said, If you can see me performing miracles, you can do the same. Tin sa nawa ba? Pagkasabi ko, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, He will do also. Does the Lord perform miracles about money? Yes. Does He perform miracles about the lame? Yes. About the blind? Yes. yes. About the deaf? Yes. yes. About the mute? Yes. Everything, even the woman that has issues of blood, the Lord heals them. And the Lord says, "A greater you shall do it. You will do." And furthermore, he said, and greater works than this shall he do. Because I go to my Father. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, what? That I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Bakit gusto ko para madalas ko tinuturo sa atin mga kapat? How do we have to prosper to have this abundant life? Because the, that the Lord may be glorified in our life. Because if we are living in the life that is not glorifying God, paano natin masabi, ah, yan, sister, well, pinapalo talaga yan. Saan siya nakatira? Ah, doon sa quads, doon sa liplip, doon sa ilalim ng tulay. Pinapalo ba yung ganun? Ilalim ng tulay nakatira? No. What is the blessing? What I'm trying, I'm not trying to say na kailangan kang yumaman talaga para kang ganito ganito. No, I'm not saying that. What I am trying to imply in this message is so simple. When we are living in Christ Jesus, we have to live the life that is pleasing. Yung hindi nakakaya! Na magkita ka ng tao, hindi ka naging katawa-tawa, na hindi ka naging cause ng trouble ng community, pag kung si Kain naging bababala, hindi ka ka nangungutang sa unbeliever, pag kung sila ang umuutang sa iyo! Nakakaya, Christiano, kaya ikaw nangungutang sa unbeliever? Tama ba? Yes. Ako yung pasal. Pag ikaw na dyan. Nangyari din niya sa akin. And I was rebuked by a member five years ago. Sabi niya, Pastor? Pastor ko wala yung member ay ka-member mo. Oh, well, member wala ay ka-bigay. We, hindi tayo ang mangungutang. Tayo ang mangungutangan. Tayo ang mangungutangan. Ibig sabihin, sobra-sobra pang papapala ang matatanggap mo na hindi mo na kayang kumusi sa iyong sarili lang, ipamimigay mo na lang. Sobra-sobra. You know what is sobra-sobra? It means sobra-sobra. Pag may nangutang sa'yo, hindi ka na nag-isip na bayaran ka pa niya. Did you understand what I mean? Sometimes sumasakit yung puso natin pa inutangan ng isang daan, hindi na yun na bayaran. Di ba? Nagkaroon mo naman buhay, Pastor. Sisingilin ko pa ba, Pastor? Eh, ako na yung dinimanda eh. Kasi ako yung nangutang sa akin. Sa iyo ba yun? Sasakit ang dinit mo! But what I am trying to say, if the Lord will bless you, He will bless you abundantly. Blessings will follow and overtake your life. He wants you to be an instrument that His name will be glorified. If you shall ask anything, what is the point? The, the following verse says, In what? My in what? My name. In the name of Jesus. He said, I will do it. Jesus! Help me with my situation. Have mercy on me. And the Lord will hearken to your prayer. Make mention of the name of Jesus and you will receive the blessing of God. Ask in faith and you will have it. We never receive because we don't practice believing in His name. We never receive because we never ask in His name. Last verse. Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things you ever ye desire when you pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Sinabi niya doon, believe. So when you pray, believe that you receive them. Nandiyan na ba? Wala pa. Pero 
Yes. yes. You believe that you receive them, yes. and what well, the word of God says, ye shall yes. have them. Yes. What does it mean? You might never see the buildings, or you might never see the prosperity that you are looking for. You might never see or never feel the healing that you are praying for. But still you say, Lord, I received the healing of God. And today, I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. You might never see the prosperity in your life. But you simply say, Lord, thank you, Lord, that I have a million in the bank. I praise you for that, oh God. But never thank God that you have a million in the bank if you haven't tried to open an account. <laughs> Amen? Tumpok ba? Lord, sana manalo ako sa loob. Hindi ka lang tumaya. Huwag ka lang. Ah, wait. Bakit ako plano ka lang tumaya? It's a gambling. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. This is is true. If you are not plan about to maya, if you are desiring to have a million dollar, start to open an account. Make an action of your faith. Have a desire. If you are praying for something, go for it. If you feel, if you are praying that I want to be healed, do not simply lie on your side and say, I still feel the pain. You said you are already healed. Stand up and start to walk as if nothing happens in your life. Magisip ka na para mag, walang nangyari sa katawan ko, magaling ako! Pagkatapos, misa kasi ganito eh. Pastor, pag-pray mo ako, pastor, kasi, kasi sakit na dito ko, kasi yung Jesus eh. Ano? Nandiyan pa rin si Guru Bukas na mawawala na. You never took an action of what you are, what we are praying for you. Took a little action in your life. Even a single action is enough to prove that we have faith in God. Therefore, when I will say, there are times I will say, stand up and if you believe, come to this altar. Why I am saying that one? Because that is a step of action of your faith. How can you say, I believe, and you still simply say, dito lang ako, dito lang ako. Start to believe. Paari hindi ka pumunta sa altar, pari. Umalis ka lang muna sa buwan mo. What's that? It's a declaration of faith. That you just simply, Lord, I agree with that preacher. I stand up today, I raise my hands towards the heaven. So if you believe in God and say, raise your hands towards the heaven, simply raise your hands and believe when you raise your hands towards the heaven. Shall we all sit together? Do you believe? Amen. Hallelujah. Pray or ask in faith. Never just simply ask, Lord, give me this and give me that. Ask in faith and it will happen to your life. Hallelujah. Through the prayer of faith, you can have healing of your health or of your body. You can have your wisdom. You can have a good job. You can change the situation that you have today in your family if you have faith in God. But it takes an action day by day. Now, I will ask you a question before I do that. What is your dilemma? What is your circumstances today that you want to change? Is it about your finances? Is it about your family problem? Is it about the way you deal with other people? I will tell you, there is an answer to that. And the answer is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus is the answer to all our needs. He said, Whatever you ask in my name. And what is his name? Jesus. His name is Jesus. Whatever it is, make mention of the name of Jesus. And say, Lord, I believe in your name. I am praying in your name that I am healed today. I believe in your name that I will become prosperous. I believe in your name, oh God, that I will have an abundant life. I, I believe in your name, oh Jesus. That I will have a happy family. 
If you believe in God, whatever it is, you might be praying also for the Holy Ghost. You want to feel, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Gusto mo magpuno, kung mapuspos na banal na Espiritu. Subalit hindi mo alam, pray the prayer of faith. Sinabi ko na kanina, it is a chemical that we mixed with prayer. Boom! A tremendous effort, a tremendous works, or tremendous performance the Lord will perform to your life. You just have simply to believe in Him with faith. Now I invite you. Whatever your circumstances today, or what you are praying for today, you might be praying that you can go home and be with your family and start your own business in the Philippines, that you don't have to worry anymore whether your children went to school or what, ha what happened to them. Naintindihan ko po na pag may tatawag sa Pilipinas, sasabihin sa iyo, si puso may sakit, gusto mong lumipat, ngayon ngayon din. But you cannot do because you're far. I understand that situation. But what do we do? Let's believe in God. That in due time, God will take us from this place, going back to the Philippines, and be a blessing to every church kung saan ka mga padako na simpahan. We need Jesus today. We need Jesus. Mayroon ka sa kapsansas niyo, tumunta ka rin po sa altar. This is my invitation. And say, Lord, here I am. I believe in you. I ask in faith, O God. How to declare your faith starting today? Declare my faith and say, Lord, I thank you in advance. Para hindi po mamata kay Kita Abiso. But step up by faith. I'm declaring the name of Jesus. Give me thanks to the name of Jesus.